Welcome to Tiny Tours. I am Lourdes Rue, a docent at the Meadows Museum, and today we'll be taking a look at Venus de Milo with Drawers by the Spanish artist Salvador Dalí. Our small sculpture was created in 1936 and is a surrealist interpretation of the original masterpiece Venus de Milo inspired by the famous antiquity. The Greek classical beauty was one of Dali's obsessions. As a child, he had been mesmerized by her figure, and his first sculpture was a clay study of the Venus de Milo. He described making it as, quote, My first experience as a sculptor gave me an unknown and delicious erotic joy. Venus de Milo with drawers entered the Meadows collection in 2018 as a gift by collector and friend of the museum, Daniel Malinga. Cast in 1971, our small bronze sculpture was painted white to mimic the original marble. It matches Dali's first plaster version in all, but its small scale, measuring only approximately 15 by 3 by 4 inches. The motif of Venus's classical female figure comprised of drawers fascinated the eccentric genius Salvador Dalí. He created a mold of the original sculpture in which he cut six pull-out drawers with round knobs at the statue's forehead, breasts, stomach, abdomen, and left knee. The Meadows Venus stands on a rectangular plinth, showing only her unshod right foot. She retains the beauty and grace of, of the original with her delicate face and elegant curves. The perfection of her figure invites us to look at Dali's beautiful Venus from all angles. Her head leans forward over the partially open drawers, and she wears a headband in her beautifully coiffed hair, parted in the center with locks pulled to the back of the head and loosely knotted, and a few tresses hung down her neck. Her expression is serene, and the smooth, nude flesh of her torso contrasts with the ruffled texture of the drapery that seems to slip off her hips. I'd like to share with you some information about the original Greek masterpiece created by Alexandros of Antioch in the second century BC. It is believed to represent Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and beauty. She is also known as Venus, the Roman counterpart of Aphrodite. The marble sculpture lay in a heap of ruins on Milos, an island between mainland Greece and Crete, where she was found by a local farmer in 1820. She was uncovered armless but beautiful. At the Louvre, since 1821, the Venus de Milo is considered one of the most beautiful sculptures in the world for the beauty of its shape and curves. Its classic design is mixed with details typical of Hellenistic sculptural tradition, like its twisting figure and asymmetrical stance, its shaped body, and contrapposto pose, which indicates movement. The Venus de Milo is a quintessential Dalinian image that became his lifelong muse. More than any other surrealist artist, it was Dali, who for over 30 years returned again and again to her provocative image. Why did Dali turn the famous Venus de Milo into a surrealist masterpiece? Did her lack of arms make her strange and dreamlike? Did he see the armless classical female beauty as a surrealist object straight out of a dream? Dali was greatly influenced by Sigmund Freud's theories. 
inspired by his work, Dali envisioned the idea of a female figure transformed into a cabinet, a chest of drawers which he called an anthropomorphic cabinet. The body as cabinet is a metaphor for the way psychoanalysis opens the hidden areas of the unconscious. In Dali's words, quote, the only difference between immortal Greece and contemporary times is Sigmund Freud, who discovered that the human body, purely platonic in the Greek epoch, is nowadays full of secret drawers that only psychoanalysis is capable to open. He compares the subconscious mind to having secret drawers. In every work of Dali, we can see different interpretative forms based on symbolic images exploring his own fears and fantasies, and his Venus de Milo with drawers is no exception. The interpretation of this work, the drawers, four partially open and two closed, may also reveal or conceal our deepest desires. The partially open drawers lure viewers to penetrate their shadows. Is Dali taunting us with the appeal of the forbidden? Dali's work is not only surreal, artistic and psychoanalytic, but also has the erotic connotations which are related to the artist's secret life. Dali's attitude towards art set him aside from other artists, leaving a mark on surrealist art forever. His style was just as flamboyant and unconventional as the visually stunning Venus with drawers he crafted. Its deeper meaning illustrates his uncanny thoughts and emotional perception. I am sure you will agree with me. Salvador Dali is and will remain one of the great artistic innovators of all time. Thank you for listening. Plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's tiny tours.